My name is Dr. Richard Weiss, and I practice ophthalmic plastic and reconstructive surgery in Newport Beach, California, where I've been doing this since 1986. Ophthalmic plastic and reconstructive surgery is a combination between ophthalmology and plastic surgery where I kind of focus on the area of the face in the region around the eyes. And that's how I got involved in Botox back in 1989 when I started to inject it for therapeutic reasons when people had medical conditions around the face, particularly um, facial spasms. Many procedures that I do are enhanced by the use of Botox, and Botox does some things, quite frankly, that no, cos no other cosmetic procedure can do. When someone comes into my office for Botox cosmetic treatment, first I'll sit down with the patient and talk to them about the, our intended improvement, and I'll discuss the high safety profile, and if we decide to proceed, then we'll get a little bit more specific about the treatment, and I'll describe what I do. Now, every doctor's technique is a little bit different, but my technique is, I'll make certain marks on the patient's uh, frown line area about where I intend to place the Botox injection. And I'll sh give the patient a mirror and have you look at it. And if we both agree on exactly that placement, we'll go ahead with the treatment. Sometimes we'll decide to be a little bit more, cons frequently we'll decide to be a little bit more conservative and we'll just wipe away one dot. But then we'll both, in that way, we'll both decide on our, exactly what our intended result is. One thing that makes Botox Cosmetic so popular is that it's so easy to use and it's so convenient for the patient. As opposed to other plastic surgery procedures which require a lot of planning and some amount of follow-up or um, recovery time, Botox doesn't really require any recovery time. A patient com can come into my office, as a matter of fact, they came in, several came in today, and be treated and back to their normal activity within 20 minutes or as soon as they leave the office. So it's a very convenient way to reduce their frown lines. I find that the biggest fear that, or question that a person has when they come in for Botox treatment is they don't want to look too frozen. They want to look natural. So what I try to do is um, put in the proper amount of Botox so that um, the the frown lines are diminished, but the patient is still able to have all the expressions of the normal range of emotions that everybody has. And that's what I think that most people go for. Of course, people are free to be a little bit more aggressive or be less, less aggressive. And there's no one perfect dosage of Botox. Um, I work with the patient to um, decide with them and let them know what the pros and cons are of using a little bit more, a little bit less. It's clear that using a little bit more Botox will give you a little bit more enhanced result for a longer period of time. But some people just want tiny amounts, and that's fine also.